Introducing the Mesa Rail Deformity System, featuring Rail 4D technology from K2M, Complex Spine Innovations. This module demonstrates a right thoracic curve correction using a single rail correction technique. This correction technique features the Mesa Deformity Spinal System. The Mesa screws are low-profile implants. The screws feature zero-torque technology, requiring no torque for final locking. Polyaxial screws are anchored proximally. And deformity uniplanar screws are used throughout the rest of the construct. Place the deformity rail crickets on the upper part of the concave side of the curve. Due to the inherent beam-like design, the rail provides enhanced rigidity and strength to aid in the restoration of thoracic kyphosis while maintaining a low profile. The shape of the rail makes it stronger than a standard rod, but it can still be used with the same Mesa deformity screws. A 5.5 cobalt chrome rail is equivalent to a 7.65 stainless steel rod in the sagittal plane and a 6.35 rod in the coronal plane. A 5.5 titanium rail is equivalent to a 6.35 stainless steel rod in the sagittal plane and a 5.3 rod in the coronal plane. Pre-bend the rail into the sagittal plane. Insert the rail through the rail crickets and secure the remaining crickets on the concave side. Place the rail rotation wrench at the bottom end of the rail to rotate the rail into the proper sagittal alignment. Capture the spine by fully reducing the rail crickets on the two most proximal vertebral levels to start your foundation. Depending on the construct, some surgeons may wish to reduce the distal level as well. During the correction, it is important to make sure that the rail stays in the proper sagittal alignment. Tighten the remaining rail crickets until they kiss the rail. Starting at the proximal end, gradually reduce the crickets. Due to the beam-like design, reducing the rail crickets will inherently result in rotation of the vertebral bodies as they are pulled up to the rail. Reduce the crickets from top to bottom of the construct, working back and forth towards the apex to restore the thoracic kyphosis. It is important not to point load any screw. Once all rail crickets are fully reduced, use the rail superfly to partially lock each mesa screw over the rail cricket. Remove the crickets. Insert a rod or a rail on the convex side. Final lock the mesa screws with the rail quick locker. The Mesa Rail Deformity System. From K2M. Complex Spine Innovations.